is in this video you are going to learn reactive forms in angular there are mainly two types of forms the first one is template driven forms and the second one is reactive forms reactive forms is the most used and most convenient way of using the forms so first thing that you need to do if you want to use the reactive form then first you need to import reactive forms module and the second term is here form group okay so there is a term called form group so as its name suggests there is the collection of form elements is called form group and another one is form control so what is form control the individual element of the form is called form controls and validators this class helps in validating your forms now let's see this illustration this example and you will understand what this form control and what is form group so suppose this whole area is a complete form where there is first name last name email and first you need to start the form okay so this complete form is called form group okay this complete form is called form group an individual element for example first name last name email these individual elements are called form control so individual this is first name is form control last name form control email form control and the whole group is called form group now let's see the code and you understand what does it mean so this form group as you can see here so this is complete form here so this is form group this whole thing is form group so we are creating an instance of this with new keyword from this form group so this is an alias or an instant or object of this form class form group class okay so inside this there is first name then form control okay so as you can see the form group is whole form and form control is individual form like first name and then form control this and here the last name is also form control okay so now uh, let's start with practical example so first open command prompt and here cd angular angular class cd angular cd angular class okay so inside this we are going to ng new then uh, reactive form reactive forms okay now let's create a new project here in the meantime we will open here that folder so here is open folder then uh, d drive angular class so reactive form. where is reactive form so still it's loading i think it's not loaded that's why it's, it's not showing anything now we can see yes so this is our project now let's click on src and then uh, let's open here app and then this html let's delete everything and now let's uh, uh, include bootstrap from here so let's include bootstrap cdn just copy this and let paste here index.html in this file before closing head tape and then here div div class container and here mm, div then class row class row div class first name let's copy paste this and uh, div here call six uh, input type text here now we need to call form control form control name 
form control name equals to first name okay and this is end of our form so at this time just uh, let's have this form control name only and then let's uh, write here one more row div class row div class call md12 then then here button and then here submit okay so here click equals to submit or we can do one thing this will be just submit button the function we will add in the top okay there is spelling mistake here so inside this container we will add here this form group and let's add here form so now you understand what is form group form group is actually this complete form right so we are click creating here the alias of that form group and here this is uh, ng submit so this is event and this is function which we will create into uh, here app component of ts now let's go into this app component of ts file and here we will create we will write here form new form group and then here curly braces in this so we are creating here form group for that we need to we need to call this class form we need to import this okay now here first name first name name equals to new form control form control okay inside this we will write here our form control name so it will be first name oh there is one mistake here it will be actually first name here we will need to specify the here form name first name and then colon then new form control and initial value will be here blank that means initial value will be blank and then we can write validators validators dot required required okay so here validators are automatically got called so that means what this is the instant so this is our from group and this is form control so we have put here blank that means initial value will be blank here so now let's run this code it's all no so cd cd reactive form forms then npm start or ng serve whatever you want you can write and then yes one more thing we need to do here we need to call here forms import 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 reactive forms module from this and we need to include here okay now okay, let's press yes and then let's see if it's running or not so once this is compiled then it should run here okay so we are getting error it is saying that on submit does not exist in our form control so let's close it and now let's go app component in here submit submit 
So what is name of our on submit? Okay, this is on submit. That's why we were we were getting error. Now, so next thing what's wrong? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so you can see here first name. There is only one element at this time. Now let's do one thing. Let's uh, div then here class uh, row in here div then class call md12 then h2 registration form okay and one more thing let's put this container style width 50 percent margin auto to make it center auto now let's check okay so you can see there is registration form then first name and bootstrap plus as well bootstrap plus plus form control and here in the button plus btn bt and success okay so now our form will look like this so this is with one field the basic example of form control now let's check here with inspect element if the value is going or not so let's write here console.log and then here so wells any then if you write here form this form dot dot wells wells this dot form dot or wells this dot if you just write here this dot form then what will happen okay let's see it's not required in a talk let's delete this so this dot form we are writing here this form now let's go here and then write here number then submit you can see this is inside this form group which form group here inside this form group we are getting a lot of information here if you expand it you can see form control name is this errors null then press time false status valid several blah 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 you get a lot of information you are getting here now here let's it. this dot form dot value then it will show you only value nothing else for example number then here you can say in json format it will show you the value now if you want you can put more fields here for example first name and last name email password so last name in here as well last last name email here then email password password then here password so now you will get this error okay why because we have to bind these values to here 
So first name, last name, email, and password. Okay. Just write here last name, last name, and here also comma, 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 and email, email here, and password, password. Okay. So now if you refresh it okay so everything is fine with this but there is one problem you can see here new form control there is a lot of code here and every time we need to write here that means this form control explicitly we have to call here so rather than this we will enhance this with another api so this time we will be using this form builder api okay so the problem here is as you saw that form control explicitly we had to call in current example but and we have to pass the value inside constructor so this is a bit of verbose that's it extra code we need to write so now using this form builder we can enhance this form with this form builder so let's see how we can enhance this so first thing that we need to call here is form builder form builder okay and then you need to call here constructor constructor inside here then fb form builder so right here private fb form builder and inside here we will write fb form equal to and then this okay and now first name column here inside this column then square here semicolon so this then this then validators dot required so as you can see it is now so in here we need to call this form any okay and here we need to write this dot form now let's remove this or just comment it okay so here it will not semicolon it will be like this so now this is the syntax of this new form builder okay now let's open here this form then refresh it so first name last name email whatever now submit you can see the same result is coming here okay so this way guys is the method through which so let me recap it once again the first thing that you need to do is uh, call here this forms module that is step number one and you must import you write here in import section here so that's the main thing and then go to here app uh, html so here you need to write form then form group this is instance name instance of any form okay that means alias of this form group now so this is ng submit uh, this is event and then this function should exist the mainly uh, the important thing is in this is that form control name remember form small f c capital then n should be also capital so these are important thing okay so case sensitive and then first name go inside this here we just call it so there is no requirement of form control in form group now so we can remove it as well okay so this way you can uh, call here just in constructor fb then fp dot group so and now this 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 so hope in this video that's it in the next video i will show you form validation using reactive forms so thanks for watching bye bye